as soon as Deputy Speaker Thomas Taiwa settled in his seat to chair the Wednesday afternoon parliamentary session, matters of national concern came his way. One of them was the increase in school fees by both private and government-aided schools. 80% of the schools I've interacted with, including government-aided schools, have increased the fees by more than 50%. Citing increase in fuel prices, citing increase in commodity prices. In his submission, Parliamentary Commissioner Solomon Sirwan pleaded with government to prevail over school proprietors. The Minister of Education was here on the floor of Parliament and directed schools to halt any kind of incre in increment in school fees, starting with government schools, then trickling down to private owned schools. It was at this point that government chief whip Hamson Oboa took it up with a serious warning to school owners. No school is expected to increase school fees Thank you. without the approval of the permanent secretary. Before effecting any tuition adjustments, Oboa advises school administrators to wait for a statutory instrument on school fees which is currently in its draft format. The minister is empowered under the law to come up with that statutory instrument. By the time I left the ministry, we already had the draft. The draft was expected to go to top management, then later on to cabinet, then we lay on table here. Other members of parliament agree with this position, calling on schools to be considerate. The school, increasing school fees again at this time, it will be a sabotage. I don't think there's any member, any parent out there who is ready, especially in our villages. Prices of things are still high. Money is very scarce. So you increase school fees. What do you want parents to do? Do we want to send more children home? Most schools are programmed to open on Monday, 6 September. 2022 for the next school academic term. Henry Okrut, UBC.